guys, it's me, MidvicJack24 here, and um, today I'm going to be reacting to, well, as you can see, a new ERB video has been released. So, uh, let me just go over a few things. One, since I am a, well, a teen-oriented channel, channel mainly for preteens and early teenagers, I do want to say that this video does, might contain some swearing or some adult references in it, so if you're not comfortable with it, uh, specifically remaining to the lives of Henry Ford and Karl Marx, I safely say that uh, you guys don't watch it if you're not comfortable with that stuff. Anyways, um, what? I just want to go over one thing. Hey, it's been a while since I've seen an ERB video. More accurately, about a year. Year, so... This video will probably contain some stuff about cursing or something about, well, SEX. So, practically, if, if you guys ain't ain't suited for that, uh, don't go there. Anyways, uh, pretty much, once again, all copyright, bong, CRB, and, and let's begin this reaction. What the crap is about to be? Needs some medicine. Red, my lines are a production. Your lines are red. This is Evelyn Tyson. This is how I got my start. Now watch me tear your ideology apart. You scream, unite the workers, free the glass slaves, lose your chain, trade them in for mass graves. Wow, it's stop Wow, appalling amounts of body pain. I have to just turn that back for a bit. First of all, nice to see both nice Peter and Epicoid going at it. But yeah. And he needs some medicine red. My lines are up The medicine red is Karl Marx due to the fact, well, you guys know, he started communism. Or at least an ideological form of it that later got transformed by Lenin into Lenin Marxism, which becomes the Soviet communism that y'all are familiar with. Listen, your lines are red. This is Evelyn Tyson. This is how I got my start now. Watch me tear your ideology apart. You scream, unite the workers, free the glass slaves, lose your chains, trade them in for mass graves. Agreed, that, that does work. Because, well, unfortunately, for whenever people unite to workers, especially in communist stuff, such as Mao and Stalin, by the way, both I've studied, studied extensively, Oh boy. And, uh, well, I know for Joseph Stalin himself, his lowest estimated kill count, by the way, is 20 million. His highest is actually 60 million. Meanwhile, I have to double check on Mal because I know he killed a lot. What? Uh, because, well, that really depends on who you kind of see it, because... Because he basically created a lot more killing. I'm not kidding when I when I say that they pr that Mao pretty much killed a lot. It's estimated from the low ends from 40 million to 80 million, and that's without counting for the mass famine famine he started. Meaning that, well, well, I guess. Well, uh, give me a sec. Uh, let me just check a few things. Uh, no. Pretty much, pretty much a very large amount of people. I think that, yeah, I think he def, no, it's, Saying like between 40, 40 and 80 million, but I want to see um, just a great leap forward kill count. No, uh, no, not the great leap. Sorry about this, but. Stop it. Wow, appalling amounts of body pain. When a world leader like you has a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now that one was funny. <laughs> When a world leader likes you, Marx, that's, no, that's a red flag. <laughs> the Soviet Union was a red flag. The Communist Party of China is a red flag. 
flag and the People's Democratic Republic of Korea, aka North Korea, is also a red flag. <laughs> Cuba also is a red flag. <laughs> Vietnam's a, a red flag. Wow is a red flag. Cambodia is a red flag. Although Cambodia, Wow, and Vietnam have changed considerably with their ties with that. With that, but with communism, but uh, give me a sec. Produce with my two hands, you're a destitute train. Scheme to trade bootstraps, sleep for food stamps. Any person tries to seize my private property, will catch a tall friends to his private pot properly. Who takes advice from a broke fly? It's laughable. I wouldn't wipe my tailpipe with your dice crap at all. If you'd save the penny for his daughter you named Jenny, you might not have needed to bury quite so many. Who's that pro- I don't even know what what the ass part was. Save the penny for his daughter you named Jenny. Wait a sec. How many daughters did Karl Marx have? For those that don't know, I don't know much about either of them, so... So I need to check out. Wait a sec. Wow. Oh boy. Oh boy, how many of his... Oh boy, wow. Wow. There are two daughters that were named Jenny that both died, oh boy. You might not have needed to bury quite so many. Who's that proud young Macallion if he's drinking card candy? Future thinking legal and the ink of proletarian. It's Aww. Out of my arms. A very right stop. I'm dropping you like Hitler drunk your name and mine call. Back. Huh? Wait a sec. I, I need to check this out. Last I check. I have not read Mein Kampf, and I highly suggest nobody, and I do mean this, nobody ever, ever read it. Unless if it's for historical context, but then again, I say take it with extreme warning and extreme grains of salt, because it's heavily anti-Semitic, heavily fascist, and heavily racist. Racist, and also, yeah... Uh, let's see. No, no, he mentioned Ford in Mein Kampf. Oh boy. Also didn't cause mass green, green did. Get that from books. I guess that is true in a way. The main thing that did ruin uh, communism in a way was mass greed, which did cause mainly more of the deaths. Although in Stalin's case, it was more paranoia, but, but in Mao's case, that one I can safely say was a bunch of mistakes all bunched together. Stalin was paranoid. Mao, oh boy, that that that's a story for a different day. From books, but you didn't read shit. Your self-made man stole his own from the forest. Your daddy's the one who gave you a free fall. The forest. You were the first of six kids till the seventh killed your mother. Maybe that's why you spied on your workers like Big Brother. Your Ooh, boy. Now that was a bit of a powerful thing. Although I do not know any of the context behind either of these guys. Except for Carl, and I know Henry Ford began the auto, well, pretty much the automobile industry in the beginning of cars. Well, commercial cars people would use. Use, and oh boy. Oh boy. He was one of, he, he pretty much was like a monopoly. 
Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Don't step that close without some beer jam. Poo, son. You lived in Cologne. Look like you could have used some. I, mm. I believe that was a city in Germany, and oh boy, it does seem like he could have used some Cologne. Style like a nip sick drips on. You look as sick as your chronic dick boy. I'm mass producing abuse on a utopian hobo. I'm throwing. And I kind of agree. Balloons like the F of my logo. I gave men work. You brought nothing but harm. Take your boots, my pink shit back to animal farm. Agreed. Your factory conditions were bleak. Crap the machine. Cranking out for seven fingers a week. You controlled what employees could think, drink, and eat. And when they march, people to wager, shut them dead in the street. This is not looking good for either of them. I mean, Marx, your ideology brought. Although not intended for getting a lot of people killed, it killed a lot of people, bud. And, uh, well, I, I know Henry Ford is no saint either. He was anti Semitic a bit, but I, I will say a bit. But then again, a lot of people were in that time, so still are, but you know, it, it's a harder thing to tell. Tell nowadays, but and true, but you produce for alienated working men who would clock into Detroit and lose themselves like Eminem. And now your great lake state is exactly a great sight. You were worse for Michigan than Flint's water pipes. Oh boy, Flint's water pipes. Oh boy, eh, well, for those that don't know, Flint don't drink the water in Flint, Michigan. Although I know to reference them and them a bit, but. Give me a sec. For alienated working men who would clock into Detroit and lose themselves like Eminem. And now your great lake state is exactly a great sight. You were worse for Michigan than Flint's water pipes. Uh. Yeah, I have to say, uh, well, Detroit, uh, well, I guess Detroit's still around, so I guess it's not that you bad. You're right about oppression, don't leave me impressed. You're not hot, Carl, that's just shit on your chest. But remain a state less, you got an awful lot to say. I pay you five dollars a day to go away. Buddy Angle's bank rolls with the textile bill. I guess the capitalists are cool when they're paying your bills. You're a oh boy, now that is a socialism bar right there. Let me hear that again. To go away, Buddy Angle's bank rolls with the textile bill. I guess the capitalists are cool when they're paying your bills. You're a hypocrite. Nick with his love. Oh boy, now that is what I call the American rebuttal if I've ever seen one. Give me a sec. Bill, you're a hypocrite. Nick with his love was up to this you. Step off your soapbox. Take the soap with you. Look, dummy, shedding money is the communist vision. Angle's bank was the crank that got the revolution spinning. We I actually like how they are in an actual Model T. Although I don't think they're actually driving it. But now, let me hear this again. Cool when they're paying your bills. You're a hypocrite. Nick with his love was up to this you. Step off your soapbox. Take the soap with you. Look, dummy, shedding money is the communist vision. Angle's... Oh boy. Bank was the crank that got the revolution spinning. We got everything to see the common people like that. So so down with the cause. I even bought my own hat. You grew so out of touch and sabotage your only kid. It's a stomach cancer should more love than you did. So good. Oh boy. That's your legacy the ashes. Remember that the fascist sympathizing cause of climate change and car crashes. I mean, the climate change thing also came from a different guy, but. I'm your newspaper! Well, for the cars, but that that was besides the point for those that don't know uh well uh gasoline plus lead happened in like the 20s for a long time and that caused a lot more environmental damage than a lot of people would like to admit wait a second i didn't hear that oh yeah that's right Oh boy. I mean, girl, I hate to break this to you, but you're German as well. As well, and uh, oh boy. Oh, it's likely Hank it's clear that I switched side. You and all this battle's been applauded like that hemorrhage in your head. Leave a fool. Let me go. Cross the ball. It's likely Hank it's clear that I switched side. You and all this battle. Ooh. Ooh 
бывает. Ищ. I want to hear that again. Alright, yeah. Wow. First of all, I do want to just say this. Yeah, no. Yeah. Wait, was he found on the road dead? Give me a sec. Sorry, guys, I'm not so, uh... Let me see. I don't, I'm not sure for certain if he is, if he did die like, like that, but, oh boy, this was a good one. And now, as always, always, who did you think won? For me, I personally think, think Ford won, although not by much. Carl made good points, Ford made better points, but at the end of the day, Ford barely won this, but oh boy, oh boy, I hate to say this, but I, I say both of them won because, well, both led to awful things, things, I mean, well, with the cars and climates and also poor treatment of the early, early uh, 1900s, pre well, actually, 1890s to to like up to like the 1930s factory working I safely say that Ford is not the best in the work industry for that time considering monopolies in the US those were not good for the workers either but then again Karl Marx made the ideology that got so many countless of lives killed killed in countless civil wars not to mention not to mention in own paranoid stuff, mainly Stalin, and a lot of ideological logical separation. Just look at North and South Korea. Korea. North Korea is stuck being being alone because it doesn't want to reunite with South Korea. Even though roughly South Korea is at, in all honesty the better Korea in my opinion. But anyways, I'll let this continue. Continue because I'm always eager to see more epic rap battles of history. Although I don't know much about the combatants going in, it makes it a bit harder to tell who won and who lost. I'll figure out when I watch other people react to this, but well, I always think it's good to go in a bit blind and have a bit of a blind reaction. But since, as a capitalist and as an American and a democracy follower, I have to side with Henry Ford on this one. Because, hey, I ain't no communist sympathizer. I mean, I get what Karl Marx was doing was different than what we know communism today as, but but then again, greed, like Marx said, greed did ruin communism. Communism in its original form, but then again, then again, uh, I, I can safely say that even if that happened, uh, it doesn't seem like like uh, the ideology was perfect. I mean, don't get me wrong, democracy is not perfect, neither is capitalism, but then again, there's always room for us to work and fix things with democracy, and of course, of course, improve things with capitalism, along with a few regulations, but then again, this was an interesting matchup, considering that both combatants 
do have good points against each other. However, since I don't like either of them, I can safely say I'm not I'm not a fan of either Ford nor Karl Marx. Karl Marx. I would have to say that for the one that won, for me, definitely is is Ford. But that's only because, well, well, it, he he made the better better stuff in my opinion against Marx. But anyways, I'll let you guys watch the end of the video. And oh yeah, I remember voting in this. Give me a sec. Yeah, I did choose Karl Marx versus Henry Ford. Anyways, uh, let's see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If there's an epic rap battles of history gag, I must watch it. And now, wait, wait, what's that at the end? Wait a sec. I have to say, all, once again, all the copyright belongs to CRB, and man, man, I do enjoy this. I have to say, this was probably one of the, the best recent ERBs I've seen in a while. First of all, nice to see Epic Lloyd and Nice Peter back in action. And second of all, oh boy, what's taking them so long with making it? But roughly, this, this is beautiful regardless. Anyways, um, once again, I'll copyright Bong CRB, and I'll see you guys later. Alright, goodbye.